Welcome to Wallace Wade Stadium on the campus of Duke University. And customarily, a trip here involves a journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Northwestern Wildcats, taking on a team from the ACC, the Duke Blue Devils. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys, can't wait to get this one started. Northwestern ready to kick it off to get things started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Duke Blue Devils offense will get the first crack at it here. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Oh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. It's a draw. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. And oftentimes, running backs love draw plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback's selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. The Blue Devils will call on their punt team. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. The Wildcats offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. The Wildcats will hustle to the line. He's looking for a man on second down. He's right on target. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. No, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Looking for room, it's Porter. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Offense in the hurry up. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. Tackled after picking up the first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. A no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. 
If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. And the Wildcats are rolling down the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Off play action. Throws toward the end zone. He caught it. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. On first and goal, let's see if Northwestern can score. They'll try to get it in with the run. And the defense sold out to stop the run, and they do here on first down. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Heftiness coming out on the goal line. Slams ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Northwestern. Mono y mano, the offensive line gets it done. Driving the defense back, creating an easy lane for that running back. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Dropping back, it's Murphy. Not quite in rhythm there, incomplete. This offense really needs to get something going. Punt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Moore. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. Going to the ground. He's there to make the stop. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. 
Northwestern right back to the line. On second down, looking again to throw. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The give to the tailback. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. And the Wildcats are flying down the field. Wants to throw on first down. Makes his connection. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And that really is a great play by the wide receiver for three reasons. One, he knows where the first down marker is, so he gets his depth. Two, he's able to stay in bounds before securing the catch. And three, makes the grab. Just an awesome job. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete on the right side. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field, you got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. The Wildcats trying to cash it in on first and goal. From the gun. He caught it! And the defense drags him down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two by. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out and start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that was a 10-play, 75-yard drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. 
So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation, throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Works the middle. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Line getting set on second down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Sometimes you have to put it in a tight window, and sometimes the window is guarded gargantuan and it was there yeah that was one of them big old huge windows and and i tell you what when you throw over the middle of the field a lot of times quarterbacks are a little bit hesitant when you're that open it's easy to pull the trigger easy to make the decision make the read get the ball to your receiver First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Durham. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Brooks Field inside Wallace Wade Stadium. And the Blue Devils will kick it away to crank up the second half. Just into the end zone and he'll bring it out. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he had just taken the touchback. The Wildcats have it back. The Northwestern offense headed out, trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Northwestern wants to go quickly. Dialing up a second down pass play. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Johnson. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This quarterback right now is in a groove and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. Turns it on in midfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead.
Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Right back to him on the ground. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level and he's got some speed. The Blue Devils are in the hurry up. Looking for room, it's more. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're gonna take some losses. You're not gonna run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Running to the left. He is going nowhere. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Blue Devils line up to punt it away. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly, Dave. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. He's back to throw on second down. Setting up the screen. Discards him with the stiff arm. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Finds a tight end. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Guys, we've come to the end of the period, and Northwestern has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. After the first down completion, it's second and short. Keeps it on the bootleg. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. 
Well, I love play callers that want to stay aggressive, regardless of what the score is, regardless of how much time is left on the clock. And I promise you this, there are a lot of fans, there are a lot of teams all across college football that are paying attention to what is happening right now. Northwestern moving the ball expeditiously. The give from the gun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage, but you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries. Looking for the end zone. And that pass intercepted. The most frustrating thing I see in football is when teams give up and they quit and they wave the white flag. It drives me nuts. You're on the field. Your job is to stop them. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. It doesn't matter how much time is left. Keep fighting. Keep grinding. You never know what can happen. Maybe you get hot. Maybe you make an all-time comeback. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The Blue Devils racing to the line in the hurry-up. To the air, it's Murphy. And it's incomplete, it was wild high and wide on that one. Well, the defense came into this one knowing if they stop the pass, they win the game and they have done that. Their guys have won one-on-one -on, -one on islands. They've been able to get to the quarterback. They've been mixing up their looks. They haven't even allowed 100 yards passing in this one. And that's why they are way ahead here in the fourth quarter. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Catch in the middle, it's Moore. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They want to just keep throwing it. He's got an open man. He's off to the races. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. What a great play call offensively. Taking the shot, you flip the field, and now you better get those red zone play calls ready and dialed up. And the Blue Devils trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. The offense threatening, close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Out of the gun, looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Moore. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. And this game is obviously out of hand. But I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw checkdowns, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. To throw, it's Murphy. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Man, you could tell this offense is frustrated, giving up another sack, and they're out of sync, out of sorts. They're just not used to this. This trigger man's usually good. This offense is usually good. They've had a day they would love to forget. 
They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Wants to throw for it on third and goal. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just, you could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. Wants to pass. Let's it fly. And it's knocked away. They'll give up the ball, failing to convert on fourth. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. 